Welcome back to three months of modal logic is equal to 100 days of logic here with Cardinities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with epistemic and justification logic looking at application, which is one of our new operations we're learning about, our new logical operations related to justification. So imagine that you have two pieces of justification, such as the zebra is acting strange, which justifies the proposition the zebra is sick, and Every time in the past that an animal has been sick, the zoo has called a vet, P, which justifies if the zebra is sick, the zoo will call a vet. S implies V. It seems that Z and P together, basically the zebra acting strange, and all the times in the past the zoo has called a vet, will justify the statement that the zoo will call a vet, because they justify the antecedent of a conditional and the conditional itself. So using modus ponens, we should be able to say that they will justify the consequent of the conditional. If we want to express this logically, we're going to use something, an operation called application. To represent application, we'll use a black dot. It's going to read similar to conjunction, which we represent with an ampersand, but it will apply across justifications. It will mean that together a set of justifications will justify a particular proposition. So let's see how that looks. So using our previous example, since Z justifies S, we can write that as Z justifies S, and P justifies S implies V. We can write that as P justifies S implies V. We can say that the application of Z and P justifies V, which we'll write as J square bracket z dot p, close square bracket, parentheses, v, close parentheses. Hopefully that makes sense. Basically what we're saying is that because z justifies s and p justifies s implies v, we can say that z and p justify v. To put this more formally for all s, p, q, and t, if s justifies p implies q, then if T justifies P, that means that the application of S and T justifies Q. If S is a justification, justification for P implies Q, then if T is, is a justification for P, then the application of S and T are a justification for Q. Now, if you've watched this whole series of modal logic, this axiom may look very, very familiar. Not perfectly familiar, but it should look pretty familiar. It's going to be somewhat similar to axiom K. So we remember all of our previous versions of axiom K. Basically, we have a quantified implication, which implies that the antecedent and the consequent of that implication are similarly but separately also quantified in whatever way. The justification application axiom isn't going to work quite like that because our S and our T change, but basically it's going to look very similar of an implication being quantified over with the quantifier of justification implying that the antecedent being quantified means that the consequent will be quantified, though not all in the same way. So this axiom doesn't map perfectly onto axiom K, but it's going to be strikingly similar in its form and use of a conditional. Next up, we're going to be looking at another justification operation known as SUM. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and a new video every single day for 100 days. Stay skeptical, everybody.